Hello, beer number four of the Scandi Review, the Scal Review, and we are here for the second beer at the book from Estonia. So we've just done uh, a Lecoq Porter, uh, and it's the second beer at the book. Uh, interesting in this in the book, it says first brewed circa nineteen ninety. So they haven't got a good uh, strong uh, strong history. A lot of crazy shit was going on in Baltics. Yeah, and it says in the book it's seven point five percent, but it's not on the bottle anymore. So it's six point nine percent now, and it is Saku Porter. Look at that label. It's a that very nice label. Lovely. Now, this is interesting. I think this b- bottle looks like it could be made by Fuller's. It looks like a Fuller's it does, beer. Actually, yeah. Mm. Um, it's got that. It's got those shoulders of the Fuller's beer, and even the branding is with the with like the medallions. It looks proper Fuller's. I reckon they might have just half yeah, inch. The colour is the same as Lancer, isn't it? The, yeah, like the, Bengal Lancer. Yeah, the, so uh, the purple. Uh, so that's interesting. It even says in English here, premium porter. Do you think they may have borrowed? Borrowed that one off Fuller's. Yeah, that's not uh, also interesting, it says first grade circa 1990, but on the bottle it says 1820. Oh. Uh, I can't tell you what Maybe I mean. Maybe that's the brewery rather than... It must be the brewery. brewery. Uh, Saku Brewery. So that's the brewery. It must be the brewery that starts off there. Um, so, yeah, it says here, Saku is one of the oldest breweries in Estonia with a history going back to 1820. Um... Their strongest selling beer is their strong pale lager, called Original. Um, what the original name? Yeah. Oh. Uh, so it's a Baltic Porter. Uh, I don't have much to say about this one here. It says it's a rare survivor of the original Baltic Porters, full of co- chocolate and coffee like character. It's brewed once a year for enjoyment in the winter. So, perfect time of year to be drinking this beer. Because now in the winter. Oh, we bought it in the summer in the supermarket. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we so really the was it cold? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it was actually quite mild, wasn't it, in uh, Selim when we got it? A subtle nose of coffee and roast malt. The palate is soothing with a restrained malty sweetness, opening up proceedings. Followed by coffee, toffee, and more roast notes. So hopefully this one will be roast roast notes versus the last one that really wasn't, was it? Ah, now here's an interesting one on the label here. It did win in the World Beer Awards 2012 World's Best Strong Porter. Ooh. So it's got some sort of pedigree. So this one, I have high hopes for this one. I think it may well, it may well result in um, us having a stronger so, opinion of so Estonian got, beer. So... I had a bad feeling about the last oh, beer. Least, that's what doing here first. Which I think ultimately I was justified about. You were. You've got a good feeling about this one. Pouring now. You can't see how it's pouring. No. Looks all good. I can, all I can see is the base of your jug. <laughs> it looks good. It looks like a proper porter. Excellent. Because the last one. And that is. No, no, no. So this one is. This one looks like. Well, you're about to see. Take your glass there, Tony. Oh, I can smell it already. That is a porter. It's not. It's not completely. It's, like it. it's not. Com- it's slightly see-through, but it is a porter. It's undeniably a porter. We need the filler for this part. We got some filling music. I used to have on um do 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 the actual body of the glass, it's not, you can't see through it at all. There's a nice head to it. It's quite a brown, foamy yeah. head. Yeah. Mm. Let's not, go to, the, not too fizzy. Let's go for the smell. Yeah. Okay, that smells yeah. a lot yeah. better, doesn't it? Sweet molasses. Yeah, definitely. A lot of sweet molasses in there. Not too much roastedness. No. No coffee. Yeah, and this is one that's had another alcohol reduction by the looks of it. So is this another one where they've kind of... Still got the Not sweetness of the alcohol, but without the alcohol. Well, Saku are now owned by Carlsberg, so that may well be a mm, may well yeah, be a factor in there. Yeah. And maybe so. that's why it was in the supermarket. Maybe right. Should we go through? Yeah. Now, um, now I'm going to ask for our camera lady. She doesn't like. She's not going to be on the video, but she may well say, "What is cheers in Estonian?" 
Turvy sex. Turvy sex. I think you have to say turv turvy sex. Turvy sex. <laughs> you, oh, you've got the R. Turvy sex. No, that just sounds wrong. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> that's more like it. Yeah, that's better. Much more like it. That's. Oh yeah. yeah. That's everything mm. that the Ayla Cop Porter mm. was. 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 This has got a lovely chocolatey yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like quite a, quite a like a creamy chocolatey taste to it. Yeah, there's a there's a sweetness there, but it's not it's, it's, not got, sweet it's, got, it's got the roastness underneath mm. to balance mm. it, whereas the, the previous one was just sweet. That's a good beer. And was lacking a bit. This has got yeah, this has got the body, it's got the got the flavour profile. That's a it. that's a nice beer. This would work on cask. Yes. Absolutely. absolutely. Mm. That is really, you're right. It is. It is a little bit sweet, but it has got that. It's got that body beneath it mm. that backs it up. Yeah, it's. I love the chocolate after this. Oh yeah, big yeah, big It's dark, really nice. Dark chocolate, yeah. Dark chocolate, not too milky, not too mm. creamy. It's. I wouldn't call it a silky smooth beer. It's got a little bit of bite to it, but it is. It's very nice. Big fan of that. Yeah, that is that knocks a the cock porter into a. Cocked hat. Oh, <laughs> Boom. <God. laughs> Sorry. Cocky. <laughs> <laughs> it's always about beer four that it starts going down then, isn't it? Well, it's when, it's when, it's when, it's when the rubbish puns come out, essentially. Uh, but this is a really good beer. Uh, so, so normally in these kind of rabble reviews, I tend to structure the beer so we do the lighter ones first. <coughs> The stronger ones later. Um, so actually, we end up drinking the slightly nicer bits later. Probably. Wow. Oh, that's a probably very presumptuous. Probably. Man. We have we have previously. That's often how it's gone. Not always. Probably. So the last beer we're doing. Well, not the last beer. The the, the last beer from Scandiland we're doing is. Well, I, I don't even know what's going to be like. It just looks bizarre. See, it looks amazing. Well, look at the, the visual appearance of that will be scrutinised in a huge amount of detail later. <laughs> but this one is really nice. I think we could tell from how it looked, actually. I think the actual design really showed... It, it kind of had that class to it. Yeah. Where you went, this looks like a nice bottle of beer. Uh, it's really classy. Um, and it, it tastes lovely. It's a really nice beer. Good so that was six point nine percent. Yeah, it's a good. It's a classic example of a good Baltic porter, I think. It's yeah. You, know, okay. you can kind of. I'm you, not. You can't quite taste it six point nine, but you can definitely taste it's got a hit. To I'm it. not surprised it won the strong porter award in 2012 at the World World Beer Awards. It is really quite quite lovely. I can't see what the other awards they won because they tend to make these medallions really tiny. Let's have a look. See if you can work it out. I can, I can, uh, so I wonder if the the, the alcohol content was reduced. After they won the award, or I don't know. I think they were all written in foreign. Oh, they, okay. Well, actually, no, I can tell. I can tell you whether it was or not because I can see when this when this book was printed. Um, the answer is yes. This is twenty fifteen edition oh. of the book. So, um, they won the awards. Then they reduced the alcohol content. Mm. Uh, at some oh, point. What? <laughs> Hooray, we won! Let's make it. At some Let's point, at some so the, the alcohol content has been reduced in between 2015 and 2017, we're in now. So, uh, but it's still a nice beer. Yeah, yeah it's still good. good. Yeah, mm. I've got no complaints about this whatsoever. Um, I think we'll leave that one there. So, uh, camera lady, if you could uh, press stop, and we'll see another beer review very soon.